So these are the key players in the uh, direct oral anticoagulant um, sort of All of pilot. those are named after Star Wars planets. I just <laughs> That's <to> right. <laughs> That's where Yoda lives. That's where the inspiration is. The, the Gabatran system, uh, I'm pretty sure. So Dabigatran is the oldest, and so that's Pradaxa. Um, and that was FDA approved in 2010. That's the o only direct thrombin inhibitor. Okay. And I'm gonna show you uh, the coagulation cascade shortly and that will make you lightheaded and diaphoretic, <laughs> don't worry. I, I can't wait, I can't wait. Cross. And I then the other please. ones are factor 10A inhibitors. And the way you can sort of remember those is that they all have that XA in them, rivaroxaban, apixaban, adoxaban, which is the newest one. And so that XA is that factor 10A oh, nice. um, ah, inhibitor. Like so that. kind of a little shortcut that. there, yeah. Here we go. All right, don't, oh, I'm only gonna point out two things with this. Ouch. Be not afraid, my friend, be okay. not afraid. All so right. the direct late. thrombin inhibitor that we talked about, dabigatran, it works right here, all right? So here's thrombin, so it's gonna inhibit thrombin, which then, if that's not working, you can't get fibrinogen converted to fibrin, and so there's no clot formation. Okay. So that's how that anticoagulant effect um, happens. With the factor 10A inhibitors, um, here's factor 10A, which is responsible for the conversion of prothrombin to thrombin. And so then you sort of have this indirect thrombin inhibition with the factor 10A um, oh, inhibitors. It's all coming and together. so everything is just basically to, to prevent um, uh, thrombin from doing its thing there. Okay. See, that wasn't so painful. No, yeah. sorry. No, I kept it simple. I'll accept that. All right, good. All right, excellent. So... That's what your arm looks like, right, Aaron? That's exactly yeah. what my arm looks like. <laughs> so, right before wow. I shoot, I, you I have to do hair. I through your, your like, tight shirt. <laughs> you must do intracranial drugs, intravenous drugs. So what do we love about these direct oral anticoagulants? So they're rapid onset. We don't have to bridge patients with like heparin and Coumadin. There isn't this like uh, initial pro-coagulant effect that then becomes um, uh, an anticoagulant effect. So as soon as it's on, it's on. Um, they also have short half-lives, so upwards 10, 12 hours and they're gone. Um, so that's lovely if we need to sort of stop treatment for surgery or some sort of a procedure. It's a fixed dosing schedule, which is nice as well, because warfarin, you know, one day it's like five milligrams and then 10 and 7.5 right. yeah. and it shifts all over the place. No dietary restrictions, so eat all the dark leafy green vegetables you like, you oh. will not oh, mess with these. I was going for donuts, so yeah, leafy green. <laughs> leafy green is better. And you don't have to monitor the anticoagulation. So they don't have to, the patients don't have to keep coming in to get their INR checked over and over and over again. So that's- Or you can't lovely. monitor it. <laughs> or, you can't yeah, monitor right. it. Good so not that you don't have to, it's that we can't. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what I should say, yeah. So what's the bad about this? So two of the medications have BID dosing instead of daily dosing. So that's okay. kind of a drag. Dabigatran and Apixaban have BID dosing. These are renally cleared. So patients who have any sort of like chronic renal insufficiency or acute kidney injury, then you could sort of end up screwing around with the um, the dosage. So you have to sort of take down the dose to account for the for the GFR. Mm -hmm. We don't have a lot of experience with these drugs, unfortunately. Yeah. So um, you know, initiating them from the emergency department can get tricky, or then sort of managing the the complications of these um, drugs can be. Um, Tricky, and then the reversal is difficult. So we're comfortable with Coumadin, right? I sure. know how to mm -hmm. reverse warfarin um, quickly. With this, I don't necessarily know what I need to do. What am I supposed yeah. to do if someone comes in and they have this intracranial hemorrhage? How do I make this stop? How do I make the bleeding yeah. stop? Hard enough to pronounce them. Without having to pronounce them, yes. 